right back here at halftime, and uh, right now Lexington Catholic out to a big lead against Lexington Christian Academy. It's 46 to 29 here at Lexington Christian Academy, and uh, joining us as we promised is uh, Bluegrass Orthopedics uh, fine doctor over there, and they got they got a lot of fine doctors, but this guy right here, Doctor McGonigal. Uh, good to have you on again, man. I know we've been on here before with you, but uh, how are you doing right now, man? Uh, hanging in there. I appreciate you having me back on here, and I'm glad we've got some sports to watch here. Yeah, we uh, we got basketball season underway tonight, the uh, uh, second night of basketball, but first official night for these two teams uh, here this evening um, at the varsity level. So uh, good to have basketball back on uh, here in Central Kentucky. But uh, Let's talk about uh, Bluegrass Orthopedics once again. I know you guys just opened up a new uh, facility right here on the end of Clay's Mill. Mm -hmm. uh, just you continue to evolve, continue to expand. Yeah, well, we, we you know we're, we're really looking for as many opportunities as we can to, to serve the patients that we we have the opportunity to, to take care of and giving more and more options uh, in, in uh, locations both throughout Lexington and and also uh, expanding to other areas you know um, I just opened up a satellite clinic down in London I'm doing a couple days a week we have providers that go up to Georgetown so we're really trying to you know increase our accessibility to people th not j throughout the entire kind of Lexington uh, area and out uh, and beyond as well <clears throat> absolutely and then you know of course you know you guys serve you know your big your big tagline there's that you serve athletes of all ages uh, each physician has a specialty what uh, what do you specialize in uh, for the folks out there that are just being introduced to you tonight? Sure, yeah. So I'm uh, what's called a sports medicine specialist. So I, it's kind of a, probably the most broad of the kind of orthopedic subspecialties. I kind of work on multiple areas through the body, but there's usually a focus more on a lot of things I do have kind of an arthroscopic component to them. But I see a lot of knees, a lot of hips, a lot of shoulders, a lot of things that are kind of uh, don't involve joint replacement, but kind of involve uh, fixing things like, you know, an ACL or a labral tear or a rotator cuff, that sort of stuff. Well, we're here in <laughs> basketball season finally. You know, football just wrapped up, but uh, flipping the page to basketball. And, uh, you know, what are some of the common injuries that uh, we see out here on the basketball court? Yeah, you know, I think some of the most common things, uh, you know, you think about ankle sprains, that's a real common one where, you know, people jump in landing, kind of rolling the feet. That's something that we see quite a bit. Um, you do see some of the knee injuries, you know, unfortunately every once in a while you get some of their tears in ACL if they land the wrong way and that, that's, um, you know, uh, a, a big uh, point of emphasis for kind of strength training and conditioning to try to prevent those sort of things. Um, and then, you know, you'll, uh, you'll see some, you know, you know, this is a physical game, every once in a while you see something like a concussion or something like that, but uh, usually it's kind of restricted to more of the lower extremity stuff. You got a lot of guys crossing, uh, you know, over sports, you know, going from football to to basketball, what what are some of the things that you would recommend for those guys that are switching over a sport so soon? Because football had just wrapped up. Yeah, well, you know, the, the key is to, to really kind of try to build back into things. The, the, the area where sometimes people get in trouble is if you go, you know, from really not being used to playing a sport and then trying to go 100 miles an hour. And so having a chance where to kind of build in and, and get used to the different conditioning, the different surface that you're going to be on. Uh, to try to avoid some of the, you know, some of the overuse injuries, but also kind of not being in the appropriate kind of um, overall conditioning towards the end of like a practice or a game where, you know, those muscles are weak and fatigued, you might be more likely to do something like roll an ankle or have have an injury from a, from the muscle support being not as strong as it should be. Bluegrass Orthopedics, <laughs> we had mentioned, you know, you guys continue to grow. Uh, what are some of the things that BGO is doing to better serve the community in 2021? You guys have done a fantastic job, by the way, over the years serving yeah, the community. Sure. But I know you guys are continue to evolve that plan to yeah. put community first. Well, I, I appreciate you, you saying that. You know, we're kind of trying to focus in these times with, you know, still having a lot of the the COVID restrictions, trying to see ways that we can kind of help with outreach and, and patient information. A um, couple of our... Uh, you know, surgeons, and you know, I hope to be one of them soon. I've done things like webinars to try to to try to keep people informed. Um, you know, we've uh, I kind of mentioned some of the uh, different clinics we've had to try to reach uh, other areas. Um, we kind of kind of exciting. Um, one of our other surgeons uh, who specializes in joint replacements has um, brought in this uh, uh, specialized uh, uh, knee re uh, replacement. Um, robotic assisted replacement which he's very excited about we are as a group and I think we're going to be getting more information out to the community to let people know what that is and how that works and uh, so I think there's there's lots of things we're always trying to look to be, make sure we're on the cutting edge and you know but, but doing things that are safe for patients too and you know kind of bring that education and, and uh, accessibility balance. So. 
you know, <coughs> you speak of cutting edge, you know, being the being the first in our community to, to have some of this high tech equipment, you know, I, I know you guys strive to be, you know, the leader in new technology, as you mentioned. Um, is there a learning curve whenever you have something like that? But I'm sure you guys go through extensive training on new equipment. Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anytime you're going to decide to do something different and change your practice, you want to make sure that you're as, as absolutely up to date and as you know uh, get as much experience as you can on that, something like that before you make a change and, and do that sort of thing. You know, fortunately, we, we have the opportunity to do things for you know practice on cadavers and go to courses and, and wow. get you know kind of hear from other experts around the country what their experience has been you know maybe what to look out for if there's going to be a bit of a learning curve or something like that and so you know certainly by the time we get ready to practice it we you know, we usually feel very very comfortable that you know we we kind of know the ins and outs and make sure we're doing the right thing bluegrass orthopedist dr mcgonigal uh man I, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that you guys you know uh, show us here on prep spin uh you know we we feel like we're a big part of the community being able to share all these games you know with with people virtually that can't make it to the game and we certainly couldn't do that without bgo well i appreciate you guys uh, ha having us and letting give me a chance to talk to you and uh like i said i'm glad glad we got sports back and yeah, as a as a sports medicine uh doctor i don't like to be involved but i like to watch that's for sure so it's uh thanks we, for having me we normally have a great game between these two here tonight but uh lca out with uh tanner walton not playing tonight that certainly makes a big difference but uh you know when these two teams get together, it's always something special, even yeah. in a game that's uh, 46 to 29. Yeah, well, let's see. Maybe they'll, maybe we'll get a little closer game towards the second <laughs> half here. <laughs> All right, Dr. McGonigal, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. All right. We'll have uh, Jack Haynes joining us here in just a second. We'll bring you the third quarter. It's coming up next here on Prep Spin.